How's it going everybody? I'm gonna try to make a video of behind the scenes, basically making a video of how I make a video, specifically fishing videos. If you're watching this video, I'm a fishing channel, if you didn't know that already. Um, so most of the fish I'm doing is in creeks and small bodies of water. A lot of times just local to me. I'll just pick a place out, go fish it. But first off, when I'm starting out making a video, I have to come up with an idea. What am I fishing for? What am I fishing with? Just something behind like why I'm going fishing. So today I knew I was going to have about a three, four hour window of time to fish. And I was kind of thinking of some stuff to do, uh, what I wanted to try. And I decided I was going to try using a uh, fishing video, make a fishing video using some lures and some stuff that some uh, subscribers sent to me. Uh, I got it a couple weeks ago and I've been saving them. Like, all right, now's the perfect day to try to use these lures. Then I got to figure out where I'm going to go. And I got a creek in mind already that I picked out or I just kind of thought about it. I'm like, this, ought, this creek ought to be able to work, to be able to use these lures be able to catch fish um, that, that they're gonna bite that so I already got the time frame I got what I'm using to fish with I got where I'm fishing with now I got to get ready to go fishing so now I know uh, where I'm fishing at what I'm fishing with now I need to know I need to take the right uh, tools I guess to get the job done this is the camera that I do 95% of my filming on and it's a chest mount GoPro Hero 5 um, they're they've come down a lot recently I got a mic adapter because I like using a microphone. Let me hook it up and show you. I prefer a, the chest view, just that's the way I like to, to film and that's why I like seeing. Some people use head mouths, but most of the time I'm going to use the chest view. But uh, with the microphone adapter, and I got a microphone and it does help the audio a lot. It just sounds more crisp and clear. But it can also be a problem if the microphone, the wire comes loose, or if the little plug gets wet sometimes, I'll get terrible audio. And a lot of times I'll have to, I'll review it afterwards and audio will be terrible. I'll have to throw it away or, or add some music or something to it to make it sound all right. I'm usually gonna bring a backup camera and a lot of times I'll put this on the tripod. Right now on the camera I'm filming with, it's just a, it's a older Nikon. It's, it's not the greatest camera in the world. It works okay, but the battery lasts a real short amount of time. So. I got my uh, backup uh, GoPro Hero 5 also, and I got like four or five batteries. So I got plenty of batteries, a couple cameras. That way if I get out there something happens, I still can carry on. So I grabbed uh, four or five fishing poles. Uh, I got one, two, three, four different ones. I'm probably only gonna use one, but I like bringing a different range because when I get out to do a video, start fishing, things can change. You got an idea that you're fishing for one type of fish or one yeah, species or something like that, and then, uh, then it changes. Every time I'm out fishing, I never know what's going to happen. I like to just be ready for what, anything. So I got two bags. I got my wading pouch that I carry on me. Um, and usually if I'm wading, which I'm going to be doing in this creek, this is going to carry just enough stuff that I need. You know, I don't want to overdo it. But also I got a backpack I'll bring. Sometimes I'll bring a big tote if I'm going to go on a big fishing trip. But usually I can bring a lot of extra things. And I got the stuff that the uh, subscribers sent to me. I'm gonna be uh, showing it in a little bit on an intro for the next for the video that I'm making. So I got all this stuff with me. I got everything. Now I just gotta get my old tennis shoes on, change to some shorts, and go out there and start fishing. I'm excited to fish with. Uh, I got some stuff in the mail from a really nice family that sent me a couple packages. Oh my! What? Oh wow, that's a good fish on a rooster tail. Oh, don't come off. Don't come off. First cast. No way, dude. I'm really so. Oh, come on. I've had too many fish come off recently. I'm taking it easy. I think he's hooked pretty good. Good bass. Oh, wow. A good bass. These creek bass are so strong, too. They don't even have to be much more than a pound. And he's a, a giant. Oh, yes. Oh. Man, he's healthy. The little rooster tail. Thanks, guys. All right, so I just got back from filming. Fished about two or three hours, probably three hours. It was a successful trip, so I caught enough fish where I think it's a good, I'll make a good video. If I didn't catch anything, I would probably just delete all this, but since I caught enough and some good fish, had a good time, I'm gonna make a video out of it. So I already did my outro. Now I need to take this video home and move it to my computer. All right, so I'm back at the house. Put my fishing stuff back away, sort of organized kind of a little bit back together. So I'm gonna get my cameras out and um, take the batteries out and I'm gonna put them on a charger, go in there, I'll make sure I get them charged up. Take a little SD card out and you know, 
you probably already know how to do this, but I'm going to put it on the computer, load it up. I'm going to review the footage, kind of go through each one, um, just see what it looks like, make sure everything turned out. And uh, hopefully there's no audio problems or there's no smears across the camera or something like that. I'm just going to review everything, um, save it to a file to use for later. All right, so I got all my videos um, copied over to a file and I labeled it where I know where to go to it. So now I'm going to pull up my editing software, which is Filmora Wondershare. That's just the editing software that I use. Um, it was like 50 or 60 bucks. And... Um, Hey, it's a one-time fee on that one. Obviously, my computer's not the greatest. I need to update some stuff, so everything works a little slow. So I'm gonna get this up, up to come up. Then we'll show you what I'm gonna do next. All right, so we're gonna go 16.9 widescreen. Of course, new project. So click on new project. All right, so it open, opens up, and this is gonna be my timeline. And um, I'm just gonna import media files. So I click on my media files. Then I go over to my videos that I saved under fishing and it was called subscriber lures, sub lures. Open that up and then obviously I'm just going to grab all these, bring them over here to download on there. There were some there and there's also a couple on a, another place so all, and there was one that was on my phone. So all the videos that I'm going to have, bring them up in here. That way I can start messing with them. All right, so I got my video basically laid out in chronological order from my intro all the way through what I've done to the uh, outtake. And um, it's about an hour and 47 minutes. So um, that's a video quality. So I, I probably I already deleted some that I didn't use. So now I'm going to start back at the beginning. Let's open this up here. We go to the beginning. Let's see expand a little bit where it, I can uh, see it also shows me down here below it shows me volume so um, I know when I start talking and also I can be looking through uh, if I'm looking through 20 minutes or something I can look find places where I'm talking so I'm gonna go through and start cutting out the parts that don't need to be in there and start uh, piecing together all the parts that I need to have for the video I'm gonna work on this. This this probably this probably right here will probably take me a good um, hour to two hours sometimes to get through all this. Because once I get through it, I'm gonna go back and review it two or three times, chopping out any unnecessary parts where it's either boring or I feel like it's excessive. Sometimes you need parts in there, but one of the bad things I'll have to do some editing. Listen to this sound. Oh oh, I got another one. Another good fish. All right, this part right here is a part where I catch a really good oh, fish, really good fish. Dude. but the audio on it is terrible where I, I, I took, changed the battery the and somehow I either didn't get something plugged back in right or something and it makes it all crackly and just terrible audio. So that'll be something I don't want to delete this part out of it because it's a good fish that I catch. So either I'm going to do a voiceover on it add some music, maybe just put some words in. So I'll have to do some editing on that too. So let me get to work. All right, so I've edited the video and at this point I have got the video done. I, when I edited the video, I worked on it the first night, about an hour. Then uh, the next night, I think I worked on it about an hour, which was last night. And I pretty much got it done. Maybe it's been an hour and a half. I created the video on the Filmora Wondershare. Once it's done creating, it takes about 20, 30 minutes to do that. Then I go to YouTube and I upload a video. Um, just hit the upload thing. So upload it, let it get done with that. And then once it's all done, I, uh, I'll watch it on YouTube uh, just to make sure nothing's messed up, no glitches. And when I'm editing, also when I'm editing it, I, I probably spend more than three hours editing. I probably spend more than I think I do because I'll go through the whole thing, go put in what I want, then I'll go back, watch it again, cut out a little more. And then sometimes I'll go back and watch it a couple times, always cutting out. I don't want to have any lag time where there's nothing happening, anything where I've just wasted time. I want to keep the video flowing. I want to, at the beginning of the video, have a little intro to what's going on so people know what's happening. And at the end, have a, video, have a little outro or outtake saying what happened, kind of reviewing everything. And keep the whole video flowing where it's quick, to the point. I try to keep it from 10 to 15 minutes. 
upload to YouTube. Once I do that, I go ahead and create a uh, thumbnail. One of the most important things is a thumbnail. And I use canva.com. It's free to use canva.com. Um, it's pretty limited, I think, what you can do, but if you're just wanting something free and, and be able to just create a thumbnail, um, maybe make the video or make the picture pop out a little bit or um, you can edit it by doing a few different things, blow up the picture or um, you know, make it darker, make it brighter. Find a good shot that kind of shows what's going on, makes people wonder what's happening. Make a good thumbnail. If you want to put words on it, you can. Sometimes I'll do that. For this one, I put words on it. All right, so got my thumbnail. Come up with a good title, something that's kind of to the point, kind of tells a little bit what's going on, but doesn't give everything away. I like putting a good description down below. A lot of people love reading in the description box, um, reading any, any kind of information. Sometimes I'll tell you where I'm at, sometimes I'm not, what kind of fishing stuff I'm fishing with. But I don't, don't leave this blank, the uh, description below. If you're making a video, um, I, I would suggest putting as much information in there as you want, uh, just so when people are looking at it, they know what's going on. So now it's time to make it public. So you click public and I'm, I'm already ready to produce it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You can add some uh, end screen um, links if you want to. Sometimes I'll add that on there. Um, I got a lot of tags down here. So everything's done. I got it, I'm comfortable with the video. I think it's ready to go. Hit save. Now it's gonna go online. Most of the time I'll have this scheduled out. I'll put in there, I'll have it scheduled for it to come out at a certain time but I like to do it um, in advance. All right, I, put, I just pushed public. So I put it on public, everybody can view it. It goes out there if anybody has, um, if all the people subscribe to me, it's gonna show up on there in their area. And now we wait, and I kinda wanna see what's going on. I uh, like to give it, sometimes I'll start answering questions right away. Don't know how many questions are gonna be. Could be 100, could be 20. Um, however many questions, I like to try to answer every question I can and um, reply to comments that, you know, there's something to reply to. Sometimes they just say so, and I just like it. So I'm probably not gonna mess with any of that for a while. So right now it's public. And right now you're like, oh yeah, all right, I got it out there. And I'm just kind of wondering, what are people thinking about it? Um, most some, most of every video I put out there, I'm excited about it. I'm like, all right, it's gonna, I think this is gonna be a good one. Sometimes I'm like, yeah, this is gonna be okay. I wonder what people are gonna think about it. So this one here, it had some exciting things happening. I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a lot of, um, get a lot of reactions from people, but uh, I'm not even going to worry about it right now. I'm probably going to go do some, do something else. Uh, come back later, three or four hours later tonight, and um, I'll start answering questions and trying to catch up on all that. All right, so I'm back. This is the next day. I actually waited one whole day to come back. Well, I've looked at my video, the review. I you know keep up with it. I check it on my phone, but I haven't answered any comments yet. I let it go 24 hours, and uh, in 24 hours it tells me this is my fourth out of the last tenth ranked video. So I guess that's that's better than half. And um, I've actually got 10,000 views. That's crazy because uh, like just a few months ago it was awesome to get like a few hundred views on the first 24 hours. So 10,000 views. Um, let's see here. It tells me I got 101 comments. So I'm gonna go through the comments. If it's a question, answer it best I can. Um, sometimes just reply to just comments people make and just kind of just check them all out. If it's if someone cusses or says something I don't like, usually I just delete it. Even if sometimes they'll say something good, but they're like, use a language I don't like to see, have on there. I'll just delete that comment. Um, I got it pretty strict on there, so I might have to go to reviews. Have, some will be in reviews. Uh, I get all kinds of random comments. A lot, of, Most of them, you know, 90% of the times it's really good thing. So, and it's a lot of people that comment a lot and watch a lot, so I like to uh, keep up with them. So well, this is my last segment, I guess, on here. Gonna answer answer questions, comments. Um, the first day, you, you know, you're gonna get the most, obviously. Um, but as it as the channel or as the video goes out there, I might get more comments, more views uh, for years to come. So this is how I'm doing it right now. Obviously, I'm just trying to show you basically how I actually do things. It's not no professional uh, video made on this. Um, this is how I do it right now. It'll probably change next month, next year, probably totally different. I'll probably look back and be like, wow, this, that was terrible. Uh, I've got a whole better way of doing it. But I just kind of want to give some people insights. I know this kind of video usually isn't the most exciting videos in the world, but just give some people insights, maybe help some people out. Maybe people that are watching my videos that are curious, maybe people that are starting their own channel, just kind of want to see how things are going. It's definitely a process, definitely takes a lot of work. 
Um, that's why it's, it's hard to keep up two videos a week. Um, it's pretty busy keeping up two videos a week, um, working a 40 to 50 hour a week job, trying to do this, trying to go out fishing and keep it all going. But thanks for watching this one. Hopefully it helped you out.